Hey guys, this is how to defend beacons like a pro. So let's get right into it with the most basic one. Keep two beacons no matter what. So having four beacons against you, um, you will it'll be difficult to come back from that game. And beacon gauge will drop really fast uh, to a point where you can't really recover. And um, no matter what, I guess you kind of have to sacrifice to, um, and don't ever let enemies get that fourth beacon on you. So I guess this is a prime example of this, um, me trying to defend this home beacon, uh, not letting enemies take that fourth beacon. On the next one, prioritize beacons with covers. This is very important, especially if you play in uh, with the clan. Um, you have to go to certain cover, and I guess this is a prime example of um, having lots of cover surroundings around this one beacon right here. Um, we'll have to defend uh, these two openings that you guys see here. So great feature this part of the map does have is a lot of corners. So you can corner shoot to lock down and um, you can engage first when they cut corner and or you can even hide into the corner uh, when they're approaching so same thing here you can uh, exploit different angles uh, between these covers and possibly lock them down and or even wear them down before they reach um, where your beacon is and i see a lot of players when they're defending a beacon they just go straight right into the enemy and engage but um, being annoying like this is very efficient actually. So um, if you haven't tried this kind of playstyle, I definitely recommend you guys to defend beacons this way. On to the next. Force enemies to use their ability upon approaching your beacon. So. This is really important and I guess if you haven't been doing this, um, it will change your playstyle quite a bit. Many robots are ability dependent and a lot of players um, gameplay does revolve around uh, robots ability. So the trick here is to force their ability um, and when they don't want to use it, uh, when they're most uncomfortable. Enemies having used their ability, they will kind of panic and then move into you either that or they will hang back and won't be able to move into your beacon because of their cooldown time. On to the next one. This can be kind of confusing, but um, know their route um, to get close to your, uh, the beacon that you're defending here. Um, there are certain paths um, or sh certain shortcuts, uh, certain covers that enemies do exploit uh, to get to your beacon. And once the enemy get to that certain cover, uh, it can be really tough to pull them out of that position. And it's a great position and defending certain beacons uh, can be really difficult. So I guess the trick here is to get there first and by knowing their route, uh, by knowing their covers and their openings, um, it could, getting there first can put them in a very difficult position. And I guess uh, defending a little bit higher up uh, from my uh, normal defending position 
um, allows me to give me that room to kind of back out uh, when I'm outnumbered. And that position that I was just in um, usually gives me the most trouble when I'm defending this beacon. So moving back and forth out of that position really puts enemies in an uncomfortable position. On to the next, this one requires a little bit of teamwork and battle awareness and exploiting different angles. It intruders will have uh, less time to react and it will be really difficult for them to use covers. And this is a, just a short clip and moving on to the last but not least, engage onto robots in cooldown. And I guess that is ultimately to prevent their next move. So having your beacon capped um, you, when you're defending around the beacon. And for example here, you see two Aojuns um, using their ability to attack. Now both of them are in their cooldown and they're hiding uh, pretty close. They're about just over 200 meters and sometimes you do have to take the risk. So to prevent the next wave of them using their ability, I try to damage them as much as possible but not, not overreach so that I lose my bot. So I will uh, play conservative here and move back into my cover. Thank you guys for watching this guide and what guide do you guys want to watch next? And I also have a channel of my own. So if you uh, like this video, if you like the commentary, uh, feel free to come over to my channel. It's probably, the link is probably down in the description and uh, I'll catch you guys later. See you guys.